Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Mary Claire. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a meeting to discuss investment in Bahrain and facilities needed to support the government's movement towards enhancing the investment sector. His Royal Highness held the works meeting in response to the remarks made by economic and trade figures during his meeting with them at Gudebiya Palace earlier today. He directed the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to streamline procedures for investors, especially for major projects, in order to have a direct positive impact on the economic march of Bahrain. He stressed the importance of cooperation with engineering consulting bureaus in the kingdom regarding government projects in line with his desire to support national competencies and highlighted the importance of conducting a periodic review of investment procedures to ensure they cope with the requirements and needs of each phase of the economy. His Royal Highness also gave directives to intensify meetings between officials on investment, especially regarding procedures and permits of merchants and businessmen, in order to address their needs and requirements. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today a number of royal family members economists, businessmen, academics and senior state officials. The Prime Minister affirmed His Majesty the King's care for the progress of the government in providing the best services to the people and said the government spares no efforts to provide the best services in the field of education, health, housing and others. He confirmed the government's commitment to development despite all challenges so as to serve His Majesty the King and the people and highlighted the importance of security and stability to create a suitable atmosphere for prosperity, attract investment and pave the way by increasing facilities for them. In this regard, His Royal Highness listened to the proposals of the audience on ways to overcome any challenges that might be faced in the investment process and commended the efforts of the trade families and their role in enriching the commercial movement, expressing thanks and appreciation for their support to the government's approach in this field. His Royal Highness also expressed support to investment in the education and health fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today the Russian ambassador to the kingdom, Vagif Garayev, who delivered to His Royal Highness a letter from Russian President Vladimir Putin regarding His Royal Highness's birthday and an invitation to visit Russia. His Royal Highness expressed pride in advanced Bahraini-Russian relations and expressed his keenness to further expand areas of cooperation and coordination in various fields through visits between officials in both countries. The Prime Minister reviewed with the Russian ambassador means to enhance friendly bilateral relations in order to achieve the best interest of the two countries. He also highlighted Russia's major role in maintaining global peace and stability. The meeting reviewed the latest global developments as well as efforts to combat terrorism as His Royal Highness confer affirmed the GCC's firm stance led by Saudi Arabia to support international efforts on combating terrorism.
The Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Arts KHK MMA team has won the first ever bronze medallion in the history of the sport in the world for amateurs, which has placed Bahrain on the world map of this world class sport. On the occasion, the first deputy of the chairman of the Supreme Councils for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad, dedicated the bronze medal to His Majesty the King, the prime supporter of the youth and sports in the kingdom, hailing His Majesty's reform and development in all sectors, especially in the sector of youth and sports. His Highness also dedicated the spectacular achievement to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, affirming that this feat reflects the plans and programmes set up by the government. Represented by Bahraini MMA fighter Hussein Ayad, the team won third place with his participation in the first European MMA Amateurs Open Championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid attended and followed up the MMA fray, ensured the full preparedness of MMA fighter Hussein Ayad and boosted his morale. He also lauded the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports efforts led by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa in boosting the level of Bahraini youth and advancement in all sports. Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired the regular meeting today in which the Council approved the suggestion of the Economic and Financial Affairs Committee regarding Article 2 of Decree Law 26 for the year 1996 regarding auditors. The meeting also approved a report by the same committee regarding the final account of the Future Generations Reserve Fund for the year 2013, audited by the Office of Financial and and administrative control. The Council then approved the government request to postpone discussions on the Public Utilities Commission report regarding the housing draft law. And now it's time to hand you over to Danielle with the latest in business news. Good evening, Danielle. Good evening, Mary Claire. Thank you. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain Bourse officially announced the kickoff of the TradeQuest Challenge for universities for the financial year 2015 to 2016. A meeting was held at Bahrain Bourse's premises on Thursday with the attendance of participating students, team advisors, and investment advisors. This year's TradeQuest program includes four university and educational institution teams. They are Ahliya University, BIBF, Bahrain Polytechnic, and Royal University for Women. TradeQuest is a simulated business education partnership program that focuses on investment trading in world financial markets. The program aims at stimulating practical learning through realistic experiences by learning the rules and regulations implemented in financial markets, analyzing and selecting shares, and managing a portfolio of investment instruments listed at the New York Stock Exchange and Bahrain Bourse. And the Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,224.9 points, an increase of 5.69 points above last week's closing level. The commercial banks, investment and industrial sectors all rose, while the services sector witnessed the highest level of trading at 67% of total share value traded. 25 transactions took place today, involving 631,036 shares, worth 212,939 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 